One of the challenges to working with factorials is that they get really big really fast. Fortunately, it's common for factorials to show up as parts of a fraction, which means you can simplify them by doing some reducing before you try multiplying them out. For example, if we start with something like 12 factorial times 10 factorial, you can think of the 12 factorial as being 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. N now that we've rewritten it that way, this becomes a lot simpler because we can cancel the 10 factorial in the numerator with the 10 factorial in the denominator, and that leaves us with just 12 times 11, or 132. So the key to this kind of simplification is looking at the smaller factorial, 10 factorial in this case, and rewriting the bigger factorial as the smaller factorial times some numbers. Now, if we take a look at this case, um, this expression is a little more complicated because there are two factorials in the denominator, but that's okay. We can simplify it using this same method. I'm going to start by rewriting the 15 factorial as 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. And you notice what I did here. I saw the 10 factorial on the bottom. That was the bigger of the two. And I rewrote the top in such a way that now I can cancel them. Right? When, these, when I cancel out these two 10 factorials, I'm left with this expression. And at this point, there aren't any simplification tricks we can pull out of our toolbox anymore. Uh, all we can do is rewrite the 8 factorial as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and then simplify this like we would any other fraction. For example, I'll start by canceling the 4 times 3 in the denominator with the 12. Then I'm going to cancel the 7 times 2 with the 14. And finally, I'm going to rewrite the 6 as 2 times 3, because now I've got that 3 times 5 in the bottom, which I can cancel with the 15 up in the numerator. And that's going to leave me with 3 times 11 over 8 times 2 times 1. And at this point, I can't simplify, I can't cancel anything else out. So I'm just going to multiply 13 times 11 is 143. And 8 times 2 times 1 is 16. And that's going to give me our final answer, 143 sixteenths.